Yeah, welcome to Sion Educational Academy. So today we are going to discuss Chomsky classification of the grammars. So Chomsky classification is very important in theory of automata. So Chomsky is classified all the grammars into different categories based on the grammar uh, classification. So we are going to uh, discuss the different languages. So Chomsky hierarchy. So it is divided into different types of grammars. Those are type zero, type one, type two, and type three. All the four different types of grammars are uh, classified by the Chomsky. So according to this classification. Type zero grammars are so powerful compared to the type three and type two and type one. In the hierarchy, the topmost grammar should be type zero, and uh, below that type zero grammar type one, and after that type two and type three will come. You see here the classification. So as for the Chomsky classification. Uh, if the particular grammar type is the type zero, that grammar is accepted, unrestricted grammar. What is the meaning of unrestricted grammar? So basically, the grammar you are going to define from left side uh, to the right side. Left side either is the terminal or non-terminal symbols. Right hand side also maybe it will come terminal or non-terminal. If you are uh, talking about this type zero grammars, in the type zero grammar there is no Uh, restriction on both the side. You can take either left side or right side, any of the terminal or non-terminal. We are going to discuss in detail. Just you are going to see this classification according to this classification. So the languages. If whenever you are talking about the type zero, so the language should be accepted recursively enumerable language. If you are defining a language uh, that is satisfying the recursively enumerable uh, enumerable language is nothing but that is the powerful language. That particular language you define so that should be so powerful and the automata the automata is going to support that is uh, that automaton should be the turing machine is uh, indirectly or directly you can say that turing machine is so powerful compared to all the finite automatas right so because it uh, the it is going to accept the grammar that particular grammar there is, that doesn't have any restrictions on the both the left hand side and right hand side that's why the type zero grammars are so powerful now coming to the type one In the type one, the grammar categories is context sensitive grammar. So we are going to discuss what is the format of the context sensitive grammar. In the language, it is going to accept the context sensitive language. If it is a type one, all the type one grammars are as uh, accepted by the context sensitive languages. And if you want to construct any finite automata, that linear bound or uh, linear bounded automata is giving the solution for these type of grammars. And coming to the type two grammars, type two grammars are context-free grammars, and uh, the language is going to accept it. It should be context-free language. Uh, this automata, uh, the automata, what type of automata is required? Or if you are going to uh, construct this type two representation, or if you are going to construct any of the automata, so definitely there should be a pushdown automata. Pushdown automata is sufficient to represent type two grammars. And type three is the regular grammar. This is the one of the low powerful grammar compared to the type zero. It is not that much capable to accept the different type of languages because some limitations are there in the regular grammar. We are going to discuss what is the regular grammar and what is the uh, what is the different format to represent a regular grammar. You have to represent. Uh, you have to remember here. Regular grammar is going to accept by the regular languages. So these regular grammars are accepted. All those languages you are calling as the regular languages. If automata is accept a regular grammar, and as a uh, that automata you are going to give the automata for this regular grammar, uh, and the languages should be regular languages. All those are um, you are talking about the regular language is nothing but you are able to represent with the finite automata. Finite automata is sufficient to represent the regular grammar as well as the regular languages. Now just you are going to see this uh, the diagram. Yeah, this is one of the important diagram. Most of the Competitive exams, so they may ask any type of questions uh, as for this classification. Just you have to see here. So inside it is a regular, 
context free context sensitive and uh, recursively enumerable languages if a, a uh, if you are talking it is accepted to the recursively enumerable means definitely it is accepted all the regular languages context free and context sensitive because uh, recursively enumerable languages it consists of this regular context free and context sensitive it is all these are going to acceptable right if you are talking about to the context sensitive so it may be regular or context free but it may not be this regular uh, recursively enumerable languages and if you are talking about the context free all the regular languages are context free but the reverse is not possible right because uh, this context free uh, this regular is the subset of this context free languages so all these regular languages are context free languages so this diagram is very important all the different varieties of questions they may ask if the grammar uh, is satisfying the uh, regular grammar you are able to construct uh, this uh, this finite automata yes if it is a regular grammar definitely you may give the finite automata if it is satisfying the context free grammar uh, can you able to give the push down automata yes you can give the push down automata for all the context free grammars all the context free languages you can represent with the push down automata and coming to this uh, context sensitive if a grammar is context sensitive and the languages are context sensitive languages you may give the uh, automata that should be linear bounded automata and uh, this uh, topmost one is a recursively enumerable language all the grammars your uh, that is uh, satisfying this recursively enumerable languages it means uh, there is unrestricted grammar you are talking about the unrestricted grammar all unrestricted grammars are supported by the turing machine is nothing but so there is no constraint both the left hand side as well as the right hand side it means any type of grammar it is going to accept by the turing machine so that's why you are calling the turing machine is the so powerful uh, this uh, turing machine is going to compute what exactly you are going to do with the computer what are the uh, different uh, actions you are going to perform with the computer all those actions are possible with the turing machine so the conclusion the turing machine is so powerful compared to all these finite automatas next we are going to see the different uh, type of grammars we are just now we discussed the type 0 type 1 type 2 and type 3 if you know these uh, the different formats uh, you can easily identify what type of grammar it is and for that uh, what is the language it is that grammar is going to satisfy and what is the finite automata you are going to give so the basic idea is required the type 3 what is the format type 2 what is the format and type 1 and type 0 we are going to discuss one by one so if you are talking about the type 3 uh, these type 3 grammars are accepted by the finite automata so it is the basic type of uh, grammar so in this grammar you have to see it must have a single non-terminal on the left hand side and a right hand side consisting of a single terminal or single terminal followed by a single non-terminal so basically the representation is like this you have to see here type 3 representation uh, the production is like this capital X uh, and you are giving the right hand side is either small a or small a followed by capital Y here a capital X and Y is acting like as a non-terminals so generally in the grammars non-terminals you are representing uh, with the capital letters the terminals you are representing with the small letters here small a you are talking about small a this is the terminal symbol and here the grammar is accepted uh, the start symbol it, uh, it is going to accept the epsilon also you can represent epsilon so this is the basic grammar capital X it may be epsilon or small a small a followed by capital Y or you may give the small b also these are the either terminal or terminal followed by a non-terminal so this is the basic representation of the type 3 grammars now coming to the type 2 it is somewhat different and uh, just now we discussed the type 3 all the type 3 grammars are satisfied by the finite automata the simple finite automata and what about the type 2 grammars type 2 grammars are going to generate the context free languages uh, the productions are in the form of capital A and you are going to give this uh, the capital notation this notation I am giving in the right hand side basically it is not strictly either the non-terminal or you are not talking about the terminal it is a combination the right hand side is anything whereas just now we discussed in the type 3 grammar the right hand side either it is terminal or terminal followed by a non-terminal but here not like that here just you are taking the right hand side right hand side it may be terminal or it may be non-terminal or anything 
star you are giving a star is nothing but the clean closure clean closure is either all the combinations of terminal or combination of non terminals or maybe combination of terminal or non terminal there is no restriction on the right hand side so just i am giving the example of this you see here a uh, different uh, the type 2 grammar example uh, capital s is a start symbol for example it is starting with the capital x it is a non terminal followed by a terminal or right hand side you may write small letter it means nothing but single terminal or terminal by non terminal or all terminals or you may write it as a epsilon also so these are the different way to represent but uh, you should remember here the left hand side left hand side should be capital letters is nothing but left hand side should be non -ter non terminal only there is no way to write epsilon as well as any terminal symbol in the left hand side but you may write either small letters or capital letters or epsilon symbols next you are going to see type 1 grammars type 1 grammars are generate context sensitive languages the production must be in the form uh, capital uh, alpha capital a and capital b uh, beta alpha capital a and capital beta and uh, this capital a may be any non terminal symbols uh, here the alpha and beta and this representation uh, right hand side the right hand side representation all these are it may be terminal or non terminal any any of the things you can anything you can represent here either alpha alpha and beta here belongs to either it may be terminal or non terminal right uh, just uh, i am going to give here the strings any type of string it is either alpha beta it may be empty also and but this right hand side you given it in the y type notation it must be non empty right it is alpha and beta and this notation all those are non terminals or terminals this is the collection of non terminal or terminal but here alpha and beta it may be anything either it may be empty or anything you can write but here in the right hand side so middle value middle value is you are representing with y notation that y notation it may not be empty right just uh, the rule is uh, accepting epsilon also it is epsilon also it is going to accept if s does not appear on the right hand side if you are not talking about the right hand side or uh, the the start symbol or s it is uh, you are not going to take it the right hand side you see here the different uh, uh, what is the format of this uh, grammar see here the left hand side all these uh, type 3 and type 2 we discuss the left hand side should be only non terminal but here uh, the single non terminal you discuss but type 1 there may be more than one non terminals in the left hand side but right hand side it may be anything terminal or non terminal combination next you see uh, type 0 grammars it is very important type 0 is so powerful grammars and uh, the two this particular type 0 grammars are uh, satisfied the recursively enumerable languages so if you are uh, talking about that is satisfying the type 0 means there is left hand side right hand side there is no restriction no constraint uh, either you may write is a terminal or non terminal symbols but you should remember type 0 grammars left hand side you can take anything any number of terminals or non terminals but don't take left hand side is epsilon left hand side don't take it as epsilon then how to represent something something should be there in the left hand side right either terminal or non terminal you can represent not an issue but uh, you remember don't keep epsilon left hand side left hand side you have to give at least either terminal or non terminal symbol but right hand side anything you can give all the terminal non terminal or any epsilon anything you can give so just uh, i am giving the representation example this is the different example of uh, this uh, type zero grammar either it may be single non terminal or non terminal followed by a terminal left hand side and the right hand side is anything and here left hand side two non terminals right hand side also two non terminals and left hand side is a terminal followed by a non terminal and here right hand side non terminal followed by terminal like you should remember here only one thing there is no restriction both left and right hand side but don't give the epsilon in the left hand side so this is the classification of the grammars i hope you understood if you understood this particular classification uh, you are able to solve lot of problems in the theory of automata
because mostly most of the problems they may ask on this particular uh, classifications or they may ask from this uh, this representation right it is uh, recursively enumerably the topmost so all are comes under this recursively enumerable languages that is accepted by the turing machine context sensitive languages accepted by the linear bounded automata context free languages accepted by pushdown automata regular grammars are accepted by finite automata and the regular grammar it satisfying then you can define all the regular languages context free grammar satisfying you you can give the context free languages context sensitive you can give the all the context sensitive languages recursively enumerable uh, this is recursively enumerable languages you can give here the uh, type 0 or unrestricted grammar all those languages you can call is that recursively enumerable languages and you can give the theory of automata uh, this was the turing machine for that okay thank you for attending this session thank you